Today, we're going to do some stretching for 30 minutes, which I think is pretty nice. So, I was hoping to use a, a regular chair with some armrests on it, which I don't have. So, I've st stolen my couch from the other room, and this will work well. That's all you're going to need for today. We're going to do about 20 to 30 minutes just of stretching. How nice. If you want to do some uh, more strengthening exercises, then you can go back to one of the previous days where we've got a, quite a few different exercise videos in this series. The first thing we're going to do is stretch the quads, front of the thighs, and the couch is ideal for this. If you're using a chair with an armrest on it, then you can use that as well. So you stand beside the chair quite far forward, and you put your clean shoes on top of the armrest. So you get to rest your knee on the couch. I really do like the couch for this. I find it really comfortable. So you're resting your knee on the couch, other foot forward, and you just push your hips forward until you get a stretch down the front of that grounded knee, and you're holding this. So we're just gonna hold this for about 30 seconds. You wanna look after your back. So you're not allowed to let your back go, otherwise you do get a bit of stiffness in the back and you want to keep all the pressure on the front of your thigh. So, pushing your hips forward. It's close to 30 seconds. And then we swap over and do the other side. So, foot in line with about the middle of a couch. Toes on the armrest. Leaning your hips forward so you really get to relax for this one. It's the same as doing that kind of stretch, except instead of spending all your time balancing, you just get to relax. Foot on the arm of the couch, knee on the seat, lean your hips forward till you get a gentle stretch. Stretching should be gentle, no need to be, be too aggressive. You're trying to get some tissues to unwind. So we'll do another 30 -ish seconds. We're going to do a few of these ones, so uh, buckle in. Now back to the first leg. I find it typically takes three or four goes for the muscles to start to properly relax and then you get to enjoy the stretch. So knee on the seat of the couch, other foot forward for your balance. Lean your hips forward until you get a gentle stretch. And you just relax. Stay nice and long through your trunk. So no popping your ribs out, no arching your back, long through your trunk, and just enjoy a gentle stretch. We're going to swap once again. So, knee resting on the couch, gently pushing your hips forward until you get a gentle stretch down the front of that bent knee. We still have two more versions of this, so we're going to make it a little bit different for the third and fourth round, just for some spicy variety. So, back to the first leg. Knee down, this time crossing your arms on your chest so you get a nice gentle stretch. And then you turn towards the front leg. So you turn your shoulders towards the front leg. It does change the stretch, but now you should be loosening up a little bit. And this is another way you can change the focus of the stretch. Do two more. All right. 
Second leg. So once again, resting most of your weight on the knee that's on the couch or chair, arms on your chest, and turning towards your front leg. And this is a really good stretch if you've been doing more sitting than you're used to as well. Once you start to relax your quads, your thighs, then you start to get into your hip flexors and they can get a little bit stiff from sitting. A nice way to look after them. Okay. Last time doing the stretch, make it a little bit different. You just rest your hands on top of your head and you're leaning sideways towards the front leg. And this time you get a stretch to open up the outside of your trunk as well as that thigh. We'll do two more on this side. Other leg. Hands on top of your head and leaning sideways towards your front leg. Okay, next one, we're just going to slide down our legs as far as you can go, and hanging so you're not trying to be too aggressive, too forceful, relaxing through your back, your hips, the back of your legs, just relaxing, and then sliding back up again, rounding on the way back up. Pause at the top, and then again relaxing forwards, rounding through your back, rounding through your hips. You can have soft knees for this one, I find it's more comfortable. And just hanging forwards, you're not trying to be too aggressive, we're trying to get muscles to relax, just pausing, and then coming back up again, rounding through your back on the way back up. A little pause at the top. And again, relaxing forwards, rounding through your back. Gentle stretch in the back of your legs, through your back, through your hips. Just enjoying a little bit of a hang towards the ground. And then gently rolling back up again. Just rolling back up. All the way up. And again, towards the ground. We'll do two more of these ones, just nice and gentle, hanging down towards the ground. Nothing forceful, as far as you feel comfortable. And then coming back up again. One more of these ones. Hanging down towards the ground. Just letting your arms swing. Bend your knees as much as you want to to make it relaxing. And then coming back up again. For this next one, I'm just going to adjust the room. Okay, that's better. 
So, I'm using the arm of the couch. What I want you to do is just rest your fingertips on top of the arm of the couch. Reach your hips back as you reach your hands forward. So you're trying to get your head between your shoulders. And then back up again. Nice and tall. So you're reaching your hands forward as you reach your hips back. So reaching your hands forward as your hips go back. And then back up again. And again, hands forward, reaching. And then back up for a little break. Reaching forward with the hands, back with the hips. And then back up. Two to go. Hands forward, hips back. Lengthen through your back. And back up again. Last one. Hands forward, hips back. And then back up to standing. Next one, I'm going to use the arm of the couch. I hope if you've got a rounded arm or a flat arm like this one, that's ideal. Otherwise, you can use the seat. I might show you both ways. First of all, I'm just going to rest my lower leg on the arm of the couch. So you move your body so that you've just got your shin resting on the arm of the couch. And then you're leaning your body down towards your knee and then back up again. So really gentle movements, nice and relaxed. You've got all your weight really resting on your arms and just gently forwards and then back up again. If you have a hip condition, let me show you another version of this one you can do. You can sit on the seat of the couch or the arm of the couch and just rest your ankle on your opposite knee and then you can lean your body gently forwards in each direction, nice and gentle. So just to relax through the hips. So I'm going to show you again on the arm of the couch. So you're just trying to rest your lower leg, your shin, on the arm of the couch. And then you take your body down towards your knee. And you can vary the angle that you come forwards at. chest towards that knee, towards the ankle, varying the angle that you come down at each time. Really gentle, all these stretches, we're trying to get some muscles to relax, so you're not trying to be really aggressive, you're trying to be as gentle as you can to get the, these muscles to relax. So if you're using the arm of the couch, you just rest your shin on the arm of the couch, weight on your hands, weight on your back leg, and then you can gently move your body in a few different angles just to see where needs a gentle stretch. You can play with a few different angles, discover a few muscles that need some attention. Let's come back to the first leg. Second leg. Just 
It's moving into a slightly different direction each time. We're going to do one more round on each leg. Last time swapping. Okay, while well, we're in this position, to take both feet back, so you're in a push-up position with your arms on the couch. Don't worry, we're not doing any push-ups. From here, I want you to lower one heel at a time towards the ground to get a little stretch down the back of your calves. So we're just going to walk this one out for a couple of minutes, nice and gentle. If it's too easy, you can change your foot position to be further away from the couch. Or if you find it's a bit too stiff, you move your feet closer to the couch. Just gently walking one leg at a time. While well, we're in this position, so hopefully your couch doesn't slide around like mine does, we're in a side position now, reaching one arm down towards the floor, and then back up towards the ceiling. Down towards the floor and back towards the ceiling. This is just for rotation. So reaching one hand down and then back up again. Reaching down and then back up. We'll do two more. And last one. And then other side, excuse my back. Reaching other hand down and then back up. Two more. Back to the first side, let's do one more round of these. Reaching down towards the ground and then back up again. We'll do two more on this side. Other side. 
really reaching down as far as you can and back up. Keeping your balance. Two to go. Okay. For this next one, we're standing really wide apart, toes pointing out, and you're going to reach down the inside of one ankle and then down the inside of the other. Other hand goes up towards the ceiling as you go. So reaching down the inside of one ankle and then down the inside of the other. Let's do one more each side. Now you're bending one knee over those toes and then other leg. So your knee goes straight over the toes. And then last one, we're going to combine the two. So you bend your knee over the toes and then reaching towards that angle and then coming up again. So reaching down the inside of that leg and then back up again. Sliding down the inside towards your ankle and then back up again. We'll do two more on this side. Back up, last one. And back up, other side. Sliding down the inside of that ankle and then back up. This is our last stretch. If you have any suggestions for our exercises that you'd like to do, please let us know. If you have any aches or pains and you need to see myself or Luke, please book in. If you prefer a home exercise program, give us a call and we'll look after you. See you soon.